Now, your KRBC Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Grant Tosteru. Another mild and muggy start to your day out there this morning, although we're starting out with a lot more cloud cover out there. Mostly cloudy here in Abilene, as you see out on SkyCam, 73 degrees to get you out the door. That cloud cover yesterday actually kept our temperatures very mild. In fact, we didn't break that 90 degree mark at all. 89 was the high yesterday here in Abilene. That was the coolest afternoon high we've seen since May 22nd. So it's been over four weeks since we've seen those cool of temperatures, those mild of temperatures. Actually, one of the first days we've seen temperatures fall below average in quite a while as well. Unfortunately, these mild temperatures not lasting long. Already this afternoon, we're going to see those temperatures return to right about average. 92 degrees for a high. That's about a degree warmer than our normal high for this time of year. And then summer really going to start to kick into high gear tomorrow. Actually, the first official day of summer. And even though a wheat cold front is going to move in overnight tonight, as you can see, not going to put a damper on our temperatures at all as we warm right back into the lower 100s again by Friday into Saturday. 102 degrees out there again. Sunday is taking a very small dip. Still going to be right around that 100 degree mark as we head towards the beginning of next week. Rain chances, though, unfortunately, continue to dwindle as we head to today. Still going to keep about a 20% chance. That doesn't mean everybody's going to see that 20% chance. But we do have on to that into the overnight tonight. And by Thursday, that chance even tapers off even more. And by, in fact, at 10%, just going to really be in the early morning hours for the rest of Thursday. We're going to be clear and dry as we head into the end of your weekend. So let's take a look at those rain chances today. For I think this future weather is doing it over or overdoing it just. Just a little bit. Nailing the cloud cover though. Most of the eastern big country going to be under that cloud deck this morning. As we head towards the afternoon, though, we could see a few more isolated showers off into the eastern and southeastern big country. That's still associated with that tropical low down in South Texas, just kind of meandering down there. That's really limited our rain chances so far this week. But take a look. This is a cold front. Yeah, we haven't seen one of those in quite a while. Moving through the panhandle late tonight. That's actually going to move here into Abilene around midnight. But that could spark off a few isolated showers and thunderstorms as it's make, as it makes its way in. Not going to do anything for. Our temperature is going to bring a change in the winds, though, as we head into tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. Those rain chances will push out their way out overnight as that cold front kind of just fizzles and mixes out, too. Like I said, it's not going to be a strong one at all. And as by, time, by the time we start your Thursday morning, all that's going to move out of here. So 20% chance for showers and thunderstorms off to the southeast this morning and afternoon. And that expands into most of the big country by the time we head into the overnight tonight with that cold front. But highs will warm back into the lower 90s across the entire region. A few mid 90s off to the north of south afternoon 92 for degrees for a high here in Abilene cooling back down into the lower 70s by tomorrow morning with there's that 20% chance for an isolated thunderstorm as that weak cold front makes its way in lightning going to be the biggest hazard as we head into the overnight tonight Thursday marks the official start to summer even though that weak front makes its way in and temperatures still going to warm into the mid 90s as that warming trend continues 101 on Friday windy conditions make their way in for the weekend too still right around 100 degrees on Sunday still staying in the mid and upper 90s through next week okay Okay, happy summertime.